Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayomide and before I go on, I would like to wish everyone a happy and a prosperous 2021. If you're new here on this channel, you're going to find DIY sewing tutorials and pattern drafting tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing how I made this kimono jacket, okay? And before we move on, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and now let's get started. So guys, I have my pattern paper here. I have my shoulder line, bust line, waist line. I equally have my hip line and the full length of the jacket, including my seam allowance of 1.5 inch. Okay, so I have gone ahead to place half of my shoulder measurements. The shoulder measurements I'm working with is 14. Half of 14 is 7 plus 0 0.5 inch seam allowance. This is optional. And for the, I also came down by 1 inch for the shoulder slant. I do this for of my bodice pattern and from the neck width i'm going for 2.5 inch okay this is because this is a kimono and it is not supposed to be too wide now the next thing i will do is to place my chest line measurements and the chest line measurements i'm working with is 7.5 and i'm also adding half an inch to that making it eight inches so what that means is that my chest line is now my bust line okay so i'm using my chest line as my bust line or rather my bust line my chest line whatever so i'm also going over to rule in the straight line that would enable me to draw in my arm hole what i'll do next is to place my horizontal measurements i'm placing my bust measurements plus one inch ease i'm going to be adding ease of one inch and then i'm going to be adding one inch for seam allowance okay so because this is a jacket you need to add is allowance on the waistline i'm also going to be placing a quarter of the waist there is no that this is a kimono jacket i'll be adding two inches for ease along the waist and one inch for seam allowance this is because i want it to be free along the waist and on the hip line i'm going to be placing a quarter of the hip measurement plus one inch ease and one inch seam allowance too now moving over to the full length, I would measure the total measurement I have on the hip line and then place that same measurement on the full length and also on the seam allowance length too. So once I'm through with all of these, I'm going to go ahead and connect all of the points together. Okay guys, so what I will do next is to draw in my arm all and this pattern I'm going to be using it to cut both my front piece and also cut the back piece. So I'm going to be showing you how you can draft both your front pattern and your back pattern on a single pattern paper. So once I'm done with the front arm all, I'll go over and mark 0 0.75 inch for the neck depth for the back okay so it's not supposed to be too deep and uh, after that i'm going to be marking the neck depth for the front so for the front i'm going to be coming upwards from the waistline by about i think i came up by about 2.5 inch yes i came upwards by about 2.5 inch that is going to be my break point you could choose your waistline you could choose your bust line it could be your under bust it entirely depends on what you're working with so this is going to be my neckline for the front and that would be the neckline for the back so i'm going over to draw in the arm or or the back too so this is how you draft both your front and your back pattern on a single pattern paper and when you have it this way what that means is that you're going to be cutting your back first of all and then trim off the other parts in order to just have your front pattern so this is our pattern and it is ready and what i'll do next is to place it on my fabric and cut so along the waist i'm uh, sorry along the neckline and the shoulder slant i added half an inch seam allowance i'm cutting my back pattern piece first of all and i'm cutting the center back on fold so what that means is that there won't be any seam along the center back so i'm just taking my time to cut out my fabric piece 
and once i'm done you're going to see how the back pattern looks like so this is how my back pattern looks like now to move on to cut the front pattern to cut the front pattern i will trim off my ham hole just to reveal my front ham hole so trimming off that back ham hole now i know that i have just my front ham hole now i would also trim off the neckline you can decide to fold in the neckline just in case you want to use the pattern later on so once that is done i have my pattern for the front okay quite simple and quite easy i equally added half an inseam allowance along the shoulders lines and also along the neckline because i'm going to be fixing like a short collar that will go all the way around you know that thing that kimono jackets usually have so i need that allowance to attach the collar correct me if i'm wrong but i think you can call it a short collar anyways so i'm equally taking my time to cut it out and once i'm done i'm going to be showing you guys how it looks like so guys this is my fabric piece i have two for the front and i have a single piece for the back okay so what i will do next is to measure the length of the shawl just to get a rough estimate and what i'll be doing is i'm going to be measuring the entire neckline of the front from the arm to the shoulder and also i will measure for the both sides of the front and i would repeat the same thing for the back to measure around the neckline for the back just to have an estimate length of what amount of fabric that i'm going to be needing so using my tape measure i'm going to be placing it along the m and just try and get a value just try and measure it all around up onto my shoulder slope and i have 40 inches so what that means is that for my boat front piece i'm going to be having a total of 80 inches and for my neck back neck line i think i have about six so 80 plus six is 86 i'm going to be adding roughly about an extra of five to eight inches just to be on the safe side or maybe even cut 96 it is better to have an excess fabric than for it not to be enough so now let us move on to the sewing okay i'm going to show us the short collar later on it's just a long strip of fabric now to sew all you have to do is to place right sides of your fabric against each other i will place the front part that corresponds with the back and sew it by my seam allowance of half an inch along the shoulder slant and also a seam allowance of one inch along the side so i would repeat the same thing for both sides of my jacket all right guys so i'm done stitching along the shoulder i also stitched it along the side too so i fixed the sleeve for one hand i still have my other hand here i'll just leave here for just illustration purposes so this is the sleeve just in case you don't know how to draft a basic sleeve I, will, I have a detailed tutorial on that you can check my channel i'll also put the link in the description box okay guys so this is a long strip of fabric that i'm going to be using and i think it's about six inches wide so when you fold it it should be about three inches okay so i'm going to be fixing it along the entire neckline from one m of the front making sure to sew it along the back neckline up until the other arm i would also fix the sleeve and here is the outcome of the jacket i made this for someone and she absolutely loved it i did a top stitch along the neckline just to keep the shawl in place and avoid the seams from showing so just in case you found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up i equally made a matching shirt and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos and until then kindly have a wonderful day and have a blessed amazing year ahead